Hi guys, it's Emma and a few people on Tumblr asked me to do a collection of all the vinyl I own so this is gonna be my record collection. I don't know if you can see like, wait, back like here. There we go. Um, there's some more but they're the ones which I have adopted from my parents collection so I'm not gonna show them because I haven't like gone out and bought them. I'm just gonna show the ones that I bought myself. I'm not someone who collects pressings of vinyls, but I do like when vinyls are coloured, so any that are coloured I will show them. And I only have one 10 inch, the rest are all 12 inches, so hope you enjoyed this, I don't have that many, but I'm poor, what can you expect? First one is just the 10 inch I have, and it is the songs of Story So Far, by The Story So Far, and it's like their acoustic EP, and this vinyl is green, red, and yellow with like a black smash through it and it's really pretty. I like that vinyl colorant a lot. I got this from their merch store, I think it was from the UK one, but I think you can also get it on like Banquet Records and stuff. Next vinyls I have are on my 12 inches and the first one I got when I was like 12 or 13 because it was like limited edition and it was being sold on eBay for like 20 quid or something so that was really impressive. And it is Panic at the Disco's Pretty Odd, as you can see it's like really hefty packaging. Little Emma left it on the vinyl player, the record player even, and it warped so I can't actually play it but I'm gonna get it fixed eventually. The next vinyl is the first vinyl I got because I've ordered ones before because I've done it in order of when I got them. This is the first vinyl I ever received and it is Neck Deep's Wishful Thinking. It's just in this little plastic thing. Um, Neck Deep are one of my favourite bands. I have two and this vinyl is really pretty as well. It is lime green with like a purple haze through it. And obviously it has a little saltar on it. And I got this one from Amazon. Amazon is a really good place to get vinyls which might be out of stock or not available on merch stores. And the shipping's not too expensive, so that's good. The next one is the first vinyl I ordered when I started wanting to collect vinyl. And it is Have Mercy's The Earth Pushback. I bought this when I only knew one song off it because I was going through a little breakup and I was really emo and that song was like hitting me right in the heart and I was like, ooh, so I ordered the vinyl. And this vinyl, you can't really tell because it's like translucent purple, but it looks quite dark and the sun's not really out much now. It is purple though. There's a picture on my Instagram where you can see how purple it is but it does kind of look black in like just darker lighting but it's where it's purple and I can't get it back in. I got that one from the merch store. It was like the American merch store so I had to pay for shipping but I don't really mind. Next one I got from Amazon and it is Phantom Composure Separation. This is like a really nicely packaged vinyl. It's matte and it's really pretty inside and the vinyl itself is green so I like that. Let me try and get it out, there we go. It's just a really nice green colour. This is probably one of my most played vinyls, just because I really love the album. And it looks pretty when it's on the vinyl player, and simple things please simple minds. So. The next vinyl is also from Amazon, and it is Title Fight's Floral Green album. Um, it comes in a like sleeve, and then when you open it you have the actual like vinyl packaging. And again, this is a really nicely packaged vinyl. It comes with a poster in this folder of the sleeve and then it is just a black vinyl but like I feel like this package it makes up for that. The next record I have is from UK Pop Punk Trade and I got it for £9 and it is Mayday Parade's Monsters in the Closet. This was like unopened when I got it so obviously I just didn't really want it anymore. Um, it's just a black vinyl but the packaging's like really nice. It has like gold on the sticker of the vinyl. But yeah, I just really like it. The next one makes me very emotional. Yes. Um, obviously they had Hot Topic repressings of them and I didn't manage to get one because they sold out so quick. And then the like a couple of days after my boyfriend, we went together at the time, but he went shopping in Manchester and saw it so he bought it for me. And so uh, mm -hmm. it's my favourite my cam album. I just love it. Fave. The next one is as it is is new album, Never Happy Ever After. I got this on their pre-order. I think it was just from their merch store, but you can get it on Banquet Records, I know. 
so if you're from the UK that's an option if you can't get it on the UK web store and this is the first person so it is the blue glittery one can you see the glitter? there's the glitter and yeah it's really nice I really love this album because obviously when it came out Dial Tones had only been released Dial Tones is still my favourite song on the album and it also came with a lyric sheet for Dial Tones and it was signed and everything it's over there somewhere in the midst of all my crap on my desk so I can't find it but that was a really nice touch and last but not least is another record I got from UK Pop Punk Trade and it is What You Don't See by The Story So Far this is the first person of the album I believe and it is a white vinyl I really like the packaging for this overall because it's like matte and it just has a really nice feel to it and even like the lyrics look good on it and it is obviously a white vinyl beautiful yeah that is the last vinyl I own. I do want to buy more, but I'm kind of broke at the moment because, you know, unemployed 17 year old, what can you do? But hopefully I will get more eventually. I really want um, the Xerxes, I think that's how you say it, um, album and a balance and composure one and the Neck Deep one. And I want to pre-order the new Neck Deep album and just want more. But yeah, that's all I have at the moment. I hope you enjoyed this and now you know what records I own. Um, I'm probably going to do a, another piercing video soon because I have my dermal done. You can't see it now because it's there in my sternum and I got my nose done. So I will be probably doing like an updated piercing video or just one or like two on those piercings once this one's a bit more healed because I've only had a few days I can't really give an experience on it. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and if you have any suggestions for videos or covers, leave them down below. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. If it's not your birthday, happy not birthday. If you're having a bad day, hope you're better really soon. I love you all lots. Bye! Is that all good? We're doing it. Forever. Back when Paddock had Ryan Ross in. Eh. That was ugly. Mm. Stop falling. What the hell?